crystal ball. The spirit of the crystal. Will you confess? The beautiful princess, she loves me, yes? The beautiful princess, she loves you. No. Hey. Look again. Alec is in. You've got diamonds galore. The Papa Boy's got plenty more. Keepers, creepers. How oh, you like that? Where's my hat, my wand, my gladstone? Somebody saddle my magic vulture. the same. But most of the invested capital that buys the tools you use comes from your fellow Americans. Forty million of us have money in the banks. Seventy million of us own insurance policies. Over 15 million of us invest savings in corporation stocks and bonds, which help to finance industry. Each year, the people of America invest billions of dollars to create new plants and equipment. This invested capital buys the tools which make a man's labor worth more because he produces more. In China, for example, where there is practically no capital available for investment in plants or tools, a man's labor is not worth very much. A coolie takes 10 days to move 10 gallons of kerosene 100 miles at a freight cost of 10 cents a gallon. An American railroad worker takes only two hours to move 100,000 gallons of kerosene 100 miles at a freight cost of one cent a gallon. The coolie makes 10 cents a day. An average American railroad worker makes $10 a day, or 100 times more than the coolie. The average railroad worker has the benefit of a $20,000 investment in equipment. The Chinese coolie's equipment is worth only 10 cents. With constant improvement in expensive tools and the skill to use them, the value of any man's labor can be multiplied many times. Naturally, the people in this country who invest their savings with industry expect dividends. No dividends, no investments. Without new capital each year to finance new plants, tools, and equipment, labor and management would soon find themselves in pretty bad shape. 